like, well, wait a minute. Like we, you and I didn't do anything like that. Just like, you know, this is bullshit. So yeah, shit happens. You do write in the book that Lisa Vanderpump was one of the people who always had to have her way and didn't like that Kyle called her out. Do you think that that was the downfall of the friendship? And why did you want to add that into the book? You know, I, I don't know why I added that into the book. Sometimes you're just telling stories and, you know, it's part of like, you know, what, what's going on and, 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 and it's just real. Um, I just like to try to be real. Like, that's who I am. Um, and, um, you know, it's, it's sad. You know, they had a very tight friendship for a long, long time. And uh, yeah, she just never wanted to, you know, let Kyle win. She was extraordinarily stubborn and, uh, you know, and it just, it's, it's you know, and, and it happened and, you know, the end of that relationship, right? Um, and it was a big fallout, you know, so from the perspective of the television show um, and in reality, it was kind of an important event because they were very good friends. They were very good friends, both off and on screen. They were very tight. Um, and, and, you know, I think I was just talking about, you know, the experiences on reality television and how sometimes, you know, experiences can on film, on television can, you know, can cause uh, relationships, you know, to, to end um, and, um, and things to happen. Both, you know, you can end up with an incredible friend and then you can end up with, you know, losing that friend, which is what happened with, you know, with Kyle and Lisa. You write in the book that Ken, Lisa's husband, was a cool dude. You enjoyed spending time together. so. Was that difficult when um, Ken had, when you and Ken kind of yeah, had falling of out as well? Of course, and in that case, I was going to back my wife 100 percent of the way, and and Ken was going to back his wife 100 percent of the way. So there was just no option for us. But you know, we developed a friendship. We developed a, uh, a you know a, a strong a strong uh, a, a tie, and um, and we liked each other. I you know I still like him. I mean, I don't have anything against him. Um, you know, but he's, he's, he even more than me is it's way, you know, and I'm very much, you know, whatever my wife says is right, whatever I, you know, like I, I'll back her a thousand percent of the way. Um, but Ken's even more so, um, if I back her a thousand percent, he's like a million percent behind, uh, uh, you know, 10 X behind Lisa. So, you know, he's one of those guys where, you know, they're not talking, you know, and I, I mean, I saw him, you know, after all of this happened i went right up to him and you know gave him a hug and a handshake and he wouldn't you know shake my hand and he wouldn't hug me um that's been a long time ago right now but you know and i you know to me it's like well wait a minute like we you and i didn't do anything like that just like you know this is bull so yeah shit happens <laughs> yeah no i'm sure it, i'm it does happen but i know that you and harry um hamlin are really good friends you've but you've maintained a lot of friendships with the house husbands <laughs> Harry and I are still good friends. We still text each other. Um, I love him. He's amazing. Uh, I'm still friends with Lisa. Um, and, um, you know, zero issues there. And, uh, you know, PK's become a very good friend of mine. Uh, Paul Nassif, you know, from back in the day is still a very good friend of mine. I was talking to him today. Um, you know, I'm selling his house right now for him. And, uh, yeah, I've developed some good friendships there for sure.